delicieux. Yeah? You can use this say in a generalized comment. Um, it's easy to learn French. Easy is an adjective, so il est facile d'apprendre le français. Okay? Uh, Lise, she's a nice girl. Lise, c'est une fille sympa. C'est une fille, because fille is a noun. Where's Paul? He's late. Où est Paul? Il est en retard, because late is an adjective describing Paul. Okay? Um, uh, um, so, an undefined exaggerated meaning is what thoughtco.com is basically saying is a good way of using say. So, oh, it's great. You know, oh, c'est fantastique. Oh, um, it's magnificent. magnificent. C'est magnifique. But other times, adjectives are going to use the ilé and the ele. Okay? Anything else we can take from that? Um, he's strong. Il est fort. Yeah? She's intelligent. Elle est intelligente, yeah, it's gone with the, uh, obviously, il and elle in that one, okay. Uh, 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 good, so, um, what else have we got there? Um, anything else that we possibly need to use? Yes, yeah, so there's some nice little differences on this one. Basically saying that um, an adjective is describing a person. He's strong, il est fort. Um, you know, um... Uh, yes, what the point it's making here is that if you are using this say for the generalized adjective, which is an exception to our adjective is the general way to go rule, you're not going to use that about a person ever, are you? So, for example, if you say it's great, c'est fantastique, you're not going to use say adjectively about a person, okay? You're not going to say he's great, c'est fantastique. You can say he's a fantastic guy, c'est un homme fantastique, but you're not going to use it, okay? Um, good, so, uh, lovely, uh, we've already talked about lawyer, il est avocat, c'est un avocat, great, um, um, lovely, it talks about say becoming ce sang, um, lovely, that's great, there's nothing there with that one that we haven't talked about, so great, so those adjectives would be solved with that one, okay, uh, that would all be dealt with with our examples, let's have a look at the, so now I'm going on to, uh, La conjugaison uh, nouvelle. Uh, well, it, uh, well, it's it's from um, Le Nouvel Observateur, which is basically um, a, a, a journal. So it's uh, it's from then. So the website's a bit of an odd way of spelling it. Uh, yeah, right. So it's a book. C'est un livre. Yeah, we're in agreement. Book is you know book is book is a noun. Um, they're friends, ce sont des amis. Yeah, those two guys, they are friends. Friends is a noun, ce sont des amis. Um, oh, he's a cousin. C'est un cousin. Cousin is a noun. It's Sophie, my neighbour. C'est Sophie, ma voisine. Sophie is a noun, she's a noun, so c'est, okay. Il est, it's saying, to describe, uh, pour décrire une chose ou une personne, on utilise il est, elle est, uh, ils sont, uh, elles sont au pluriel. Uh, lovely, so, um, it's book. Um, sorry, it's a book, c'est un livre. It's expensive, il est cher. Uh, their books, ce sont des livres. They're expensive, ils sont chers. So you're jumping between the say and the ils sont in the same, about the same thing, you know. Oh, she's a good friend. Uh, he's a good friend. He's very nice. C'est un bon ami, il est très gentil. Yeah? Do you understand you're jumping between the two there? You're not going to say il est un bon ami, il est gentil, or c'est un bon ami, c'est gentil. You're going to have to use the two. Uh, 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 it's Sophie, uh, so she's Sophie, um, it's Sophie, she's Belgium, um, she's a teacher, c'est Sophie, noun, name is a noun, elle est Belge, adjective, she's a teacher, elle est professeur, we've gone the adjectival route, so um, elle est, alright, any more we can use on that one, um, il est ou elle est, let's have a little look, Yeah, you'll say anything else. Let's see what uh, lovely Miss Lawless has to say. She's always good. Um, we'll have a look. Uh, mm, that's right. So, pardon me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> pardon me. You say at this way to your wishes. Which I imagine dates from when people had the plague, and if you sneezed, it means means you were probably going to die. So, so let's have a look. Uh, uh, 
my house, it's a townhouse, it's not big, it's comfortable, it's a nice house. Okay, so she's deliberately provided us with a load of it's there. So my house, it's a townhouse, it's not big, it's comfortable, it's a nice house. Shall we see if my adjective noun rule works? So my house, it's a townhouse, c'est une maison de ville. Yeah, so that's talking about a noun. Uh, it's not big, elle n'est pas grande. I mean, just because we've got a negative, we're still in an adjective. So we use the elle est. Uh, it's comfortable. C'est uh, sorry. What am I about? Elle est confortable because it's an adjective. Uh, it's a nice house. C'est une c'est une maison agréable. C'est une belle maison. So absolutely obeying the rule there. Uh, Father Christmas. Oh, I knew I'd read the Father Christmas one somewhere. Father Christmas. Um, uh, there are just certain examples which you always use in teaching that always seem to crop up. Always, always, always. Um, I don't know why. Um, uh, most of my examples are weird and random, uh, but some of them are fairly, fairly across the board. Uh, Father Christmas, he's a kind man, he's very big, he's incredibly generous, and he's a, mag he's a magical being. All right? So we've obviously got a he is in all of those. So as I said at the beginning, there's not an interest between he is and she is with il est and elle, and it is with say. That, that's not a, a theme here. Okay? That isn't what happens. So Father Christmas... He's a kind man. Okay, so uh, Le Père, or Santa, for those of you who, who would refer to him as Santa. So Le Père Noël, c'est un homme gentil. I've gone with say because it's masculine, c uh, because it's gentil, because it's homme, which is a noun. C'est un homme gentil. He's very fat. Il est très gros. That's fine because I've got an adjective. He's incredibly generous. We could have had he's generous, but they felt like incredibly. Il est incroyablement généreux, okay? Because it's an adjective. Uh, he's a magical being. So, c'est un personnage magique. C'est un personnage magique. And I've gone with say because of being. So, keep an eye out for these yourself. You know, um, let's see, are there any plurals? Oh, Jackson 5. Well, we could have maybe found a slightly more modern example there, Miss Lawless, but never mind. So, Jackson 5, they're famous, they are singers, they're cute and talented. This would be relevant were it 1979 or something, but there we go. So, the Jackson 5, so, um, Jackson 5, uh, they're famous, ils sont célèbres, adjective therefore, il a l a ils sont, elles sont. They are singers, singers being a noun, ce sont des chanteurs. They are cute and talented. Ils sont mignons. Et, uh, what could we say? Uh, talentueux, plein de talent, whatever, whatever you're saying. Okay, an, an adjective thing. Okay. So, lovely. So, I will try and pop those three links for you to have a look at uh, underneath this. Any questions on this, please do let me know. If you like the video, please do click like. If you're new to the ch channel, please do subscribe. Can I remind you that most Sundays or Saturdays, if you keep an eye out, if you subscribe to the channel, it will let you know. We do now have a live, free, for the moment, public class, uh, you know, where I basically just do loads of translation with you guys. Um, can I remind you that I also have a series of excellent voice podcasts for you to listen to with a load of grammar, sorry, with a load of vocabulary, which is about four hours worth of listening, um, all the vocabulary that you need for most exams. It's on there. It's the examination board um, recommended vocabulary. Um, any other problems, can you WhatsApp me on 07899, well, plus 44, 7899, 732838, or email me logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com. So I really hope this has been useful. Okay, so uh, it's uh, it's a great video. C'est une vidéo fantastique. Okay, uh, it's useful. Elle est utile. Yeah, feminine video, so we're going to go the LA. So, say, ce sont with nouns, adjectives, il est, elle est. Social exclamations in the moment, we can use say or ce sont, but they are what they are. Okay, I hope this has been useful. Do please let me know if this has been useful. I shall speak to you soon.